and welcome back to my channel that is AMS MBBS lectures in today's session we're going to start the discussion about uh, general bacteriology which would be an overview of our session over here and under general bacteriology we are going to start off with the topic of bacterial morphology and physiology so bacterial morphology and physiology there are two halves that we have to cover up right bacterial morphology so whenever we are dealing up with bacterial morphology what are the subtopics that we have to study so first of all let's have a look on that thing that bacterial morphology can do we have to cover up all these following topics okay we have to cover up the shape of the bacteria the cell wall the cell membrane the cytoplasm capsule flagella fimbria as well as the bacterial spores we have to discuss okay so this was all about the bacterial morphology then the second half of the same chapter comes out to be your bacterial physiology and under bacterial physiology what topics are we have to study so we have to study the following topics under the bacterial morphology and that is sorry bacterial physiology and that is the bacterial growth and nutrition then we have the bacterial cell division then we have the rate of multiplication in the bacteria as well as the bacterial count and out of this entire topic the main topic of discussion under physiology comes out to be the bacterial growth the curve and the factors which are affecting it so ye important topics hote hain that we have to cover up under the bacterial physiology guys theek hai so this video is all about an overview about um, general bacteriology ka chapter called as the morphology and physiology of bacteria so right now we are going to start up with the morphology and under morphology the first topic that is called as the shape of the bacteria that we are going to start okay shape of the bacteria so based on the shape we know there are two types of shape either it can be a cocci that is spherical bacteria ho sakti hai hum logo ki aise theek hai ya to fir it can be a bacilli over here theek hai it can be a bacilli aise rod like bacteria so okay, which can be curved also sometimes theek hai so this is the first thing second we can also do the staining okay on the basis of gram staining we have those if we have something called as your violet colored bacteria so it is labeled as gram positive if we have red colored bacteria or pink red color bacteria under the microscope so it is gram negative in the arrangement let's combine the two classification together and by doing so we get the following four categories guys and uh, that is your gram positive cocci okay gram positive cocci gram negative cocci and we also have the gram positive bacilli we have the gram negative bacilli also over here theek hai so ye ho gaya hum logo ka combined classification in front of you every one of us know that is what is the color change okay agar aapko spherical bacteria dikh rahi violet color ki it is gram positive cocci what all examples that we all can remember under this category so let's have a look on the examples first so if i go with the gram positive cocci so we have streptococci as one of the members right then second we can also remember of staphylococci over here then second category that we are going to discuss over here that is gram negative cocci two important members you should remember over here as well that is neisseria and we have something called as your uh, moraxella as the second example to remember okay post this we have the bacilli so with this we mark the end of the cocci over here now we are going to discuss something that is called as the gram positive bacilli For gram positive bacilli, we have a mnemonic over here: A, B, C, D, L as the mnemonic. Take it. A over here stands for your Actinomyces. B stands for your Bacillus anthrax. Okay, another Bacillus will also come into this category only. Bacillus anthrax. Bolo Bacillus subtilis. Bolo. This is over here. C over here represents your uh, Clostridia. then we have the d over here which will remind you of something that is called as your diphtheria and l over here would remind you of something that is called as the listeria so these all bacteria over here comes out to be your gram positive bacilli and we can also add one more bacteria to this list and that is your m tuberculosis that is mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium leprae can be added to the list over here of gram positive bacilli so see gram positive bacilli are very limited but okay and the rest all of them can you can add on to the list of your gram negative bacilli so gram positive bacilli yaad ho gaye to gram negative bacilli is rather remaining over here we can write escherichia coli we can write the example of klebsiella then we also have your um, something referred to as your helicobacter campylobacter we also have the vibrio cholera over here theek hai to multiple examples you can add on over here jo bhi aap logo ko yaad aa rahe hai we can add on over here legionella theek hai these are under the gram negative bacilli so with this we mark the end of the bacterial shape and the examples are also done 
ओके तो बाकी जो शेप्स आर डन लेट्स जंप टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट पार्ट एंड दैट इज थोड़े इमेजेस एसोसिएटेड यहां पर सो इफ यू हैव अ लुक ओवर हियर ग्राम पॉजिटिव कोकाई तो वी हैव मल्टीपल अरेंजमेंट आइदर इट कैन बी प्रेजेंट इन क्लस्टर्स एंड द एग्जांपल कम्स आउट टू बी ऑफ योर स्टाफाइलोकोकस ओवर हियर सो वी हैव द स्टाफाइलोकोकस एज द एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस थिंग अगर चेंज में प्रेजेंट है ओके इन चेंज इफ यू सी तो चेंज के अंदर अरेंजमेंट हो सकता है तो वी कैन हैव द स्टेप्टोकोका ओके चेंज में अरेंजमेंट वन सिंगल वर्ड दैट इज नथिंग बट योर स्टेप्टोकोकस ओके योर स्टेप्टोकोका इज ओके यूजुअली इन चेंज टेट्राड्स मींस इन अ ग्रुप ऑफ फोर इफ यू हैव अ लुक वी हैव कैन राइट द एग्जांपल ऑफ माइक्रोकोकस माइक्रोकोकस अगेन इट्स अ कमेंसल गाइस इट डज नॉट कॉज एनी इंफेक्शंस टू द ह्यूमन ऑक्टेट्स में प्रेजेंट हो सकता है एंड इट कैन आल्सो बी प्रेजेंट इन पेयर सिमिलरली इफ यू गो विद द ग्राम नेगेटिव कैसे पता चला पिंक कलर्ड बैक्टीरियाज एंड अवेलेबल इन पेयर्स तो कहीं ना कहीं यू कैन सी दिस इज हाउ इट इज लाइक लेंस शेप्ड तो ये जो पहला वाला है दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज लेंस शेप्ड एंड इफ इट इज अ लेंस शेप्ड द आंसर कम्स आउट टू बी मेनिनजोकोका है वो हियर ठीक है and uh, if you see the next wala the second image over here that is your kidney shaped aapko dekhne milta hai aise pairs ke andar gram negative coca hai so the answer comes out to be it is gonococca it is gonococca so ye do important differences yahan pe the to ye ek aisa matlab jaise just by looking at the microscope and the shape you can identify ki kaun sa organism hai theek hai lens shaped hai to it is meningococca hai and this thing so again dekho gram negative coca hai kaun se examples humne mention kiye the neisseria and moraxella right and what is meningococca and gonococca hai meningococca is nothing but neisseria meningitis gonococca it is neisseria gonorrhea so that is a gram negative coca hai so do it either way yaad rahega aap logo ko ye theek hai next comes into picture the second half that is the bacilli if we deal with something called as the bacilli so we can see bacilli can be present in chains okay this is chain wala arrangement or it can be the cuneiform arrangement maybe ho sakti hai hum logo ki gram positive bacilli okay so the moment you say gram positive bacilli in chains we can write the example of bacillus anthrax then uh, cuneiform arrangement okay ye to bahut specific hai jaise ki uniform the term jaise dikhega chinese letter arrangement of cuneiform the answer everyone should say it is corini bacterium diphtheria ओके वे आर द बैक्टीरियम डिप्थेरिया एज वन ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स एंड इफ आई वांट टू ऑब्जर्व द मेटाक्रोमैटिक ग्रैनुल्स व्हिच स्टेन आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द अल्बर्ट स्टेन आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द अल्बर्ट स्टेन ठीक है इफ यू वांट द डिटेल्स ऑफ अल्बर्ट स्टेन और ग्राम स्टेनिंग और परसे एनी स्टेनिंग मेथड्स वी हैव वीडियोस अवेलेबल ऑन द चैनल यू कैन वॉच इट आई एम आल्सो गोइंग टू पिन द वीडियोस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन फाइंड इट देयर एज वेल ठीक है If you haven't watched it, you can watch that videos as well. Then if I go with the gram negative bacilli, pink colored hai bacilli, my arrangement to it can be like this: bacilli rod shaped ho sakte. It can be comma shaped. If I go with the comma shaped gram negative ones, what is the answer? The answer comes out to be which species it can be? It is your Vibrio cholera, guys. It is Vibrio cholera. And if this is very specific, ah, the last image is spirally coiled gram negative bacilli. I can see so it is no doubt spirochetes. Okay, we have your uh, Borrelia, or your Leptospira, or your, hey, na. These are nothing but your spirochetes. So we have to remember. Similarly, we also have the gram negative bacilli over here. So this is just an example. Hey, and this, which I have written here, means uniform. That means the diphtheria, or the comma shape, or the Vibrio cholera. For this, we have a separate table given in the textbook. Okay. I guess this is a bit blur over here, but uh, okay, it's given into the Apurva Shastri wala textbook, the textbook that I'm following to uh, put my entire content over here. Okay, so just have a look over here. Just like gram positive coca, I will talk about the first one. So if I say it is pairs of arrangement, a lanceolate shape, then the answer comes out to be it is pneumococcus. Okay. Similarly, if I go if it is okay, gram negative coca, which is arrangement is in pairs and it is okay lens shape. So the answer comes out to be meningococcus over here. So is this table important to mesmerize? The answer is yes. At least read it once or twice because whenever there is something called as your case-based questions, okay? Case-based questions होते हैं जो हम लोगों के long answers जो होते हैं ना times MCQs के अंदर भी they would give you okay these hints. They won't mention the organism directly, but ये वाले hints mention होते हैं उस questions के अंदर. From this thing you can identify the organism and accordingly you can write the lab diagnosis and the treatment of the organism and come to the conclusion that this is the organism and this is the disorder caused by it. ठीक है? So again this is an important table to remember for your case based questions guys. Similarly MCQs भी frame हो सकती है that is gonococcus arrangement कैसा होता है तो it is a gram negative coca है pairs में हो सकता है and diplo coca है and kidney shaped है कहीं ना कहीं ठीक है? So ऐसे type के MCQs भी यहाँ से frame हो सकते हैं. Okay, so we are done with this part as well. Let's jump towards the next segment, and uh, with this, we mark the end of something that is called as the 
शेप ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया का इज ठीक है तो मॉर्फोलॉजी के अंदर से शेप ऑफ बैक्टीरिया इज डन एंड द रिमेनिंग टॉपिक्स दे वुड बी सेपरेट वीडियोस ऑन ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू पोस्ट सेपरेट वीडियोस व्हाट वुड बी द फ्लो एंड हाउ इट इज ओके आई एम गोइंग टू प्लान द वीडियोस सो दैट इज शोन ओवर हियर सी किसी भी बैक्टीरिया की बात जब हम करते हैं डीलिंग ऑफ द मॉर्फोलॉजी और द एनाटॉमी ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया देयर आर थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू पे अटेंशन टू ठीक है द फर्स्ट द आउटर लेयर आल्सो रेफर टू एज द एनवलप ओके दैट इज यू हैव टू स्टडी द आउटर लेयर ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया विच इज ऑल्सो रेफर टू एज द एनवलप ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया विच ऑल स्ट्रक्चर्स आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू योर एनवलप सो वी हैव टू स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड दैट इज योर सेल वॉल द रिजिड स्ट्रक्चर ओके सराउंडिंग द आउटसाइड दैट इज योर सेल वॉल अंडरलाइंग ओके अंडर ओके सॉरी Beneath the cell wall, we have something called as the cell membrane, also referred to as the plasma membrane. ठीक है? Let's okay highlight the same thing in the images over here. So we have the cell wall shown over here. This okay blue color से जो आपको दिखाई गई बाहर वाली area, this is the cell wall. And underlying the cell wall, we have something that is called as the plasma membrane over here. ठीक है? And उसी के अंदर side में we have something that is referred to as the plasma membrane. इधर तक क्लियर हो गया हम लोगों को कोई प्रॉब्लम है इसके अंदर इन रिमेम्बरिंग दिस पोर्शन लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन द नेक्स्ट थिंग अब ये जो सेल मेम्ब्रेन होती है गाइस ओके दिस इज इनक्लोजिंग व्हाट इट इज इनक्लोजिंग द साइटोप्लाज्म ओके इट इज इनक्लोजिंग द साइटोप्लाज्म एंड साइटोप्लाज्म की जब मैं बात करता हूँ गाइज वॉट ऑल थिंग्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द साइटोप्लाज्म तो वी कैन अप्रिशिएट समथिंग कॉल्ड एज द साइटोप्लाज्मिक इंक्लूजन ओके आई मीन टू से वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज योर द एंटायर मैट्रिक्स जहाँ पे सारे इंक्लूजन प्रेजेंट होते हैं मतलब ऑर्गेनलीज जो होती है हम लोगों की मीजोजोम्स हो गए आप लोगों के राइबोजोम्स हो गए देन वी ऑल्सो हैव दीज द इंक्लूजन ग्रैनवल्स वैक्यूल्स है ना ऑल दीज टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनलीज आर प्रेजेंट इन साइड द साइटोप्लाज्म अलॉन्ग विद दिस वी हैव द जेनेटिक मटीरियल विच इन केस ऑफ बैक्टीरिया वी कॉल इट एज द न्यूक्लियोइड ओके एंड वॉट इज अ न्यूक्लियोइड इट इज अ सिंगल सर्क्यूलर क्रोमोजोम इट इज अ सिंगल सर्क्यूलर क्रोमोजोम एनी प्रॉब्लम इन रिमेम्बरिंग दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन टिल यूर and now guys so ye do cheeze to clear hai that we have the envelope and we have the cytoplasm which is very common ke har ek bacteria ke paas present hoga some bacteria okay apart from these two structures they have some additional structures those are referred to as the cell wall appendages okay those structures which are associated or arising from the cell wall are called as cell wall appendages we have the flagellum as one of the things okay the flagella which is okay very much useful for the locomotion we also have something an additional outer covering and that is called as the capsule okay then we have something that is referred to as the fimbria or the pili okay we have the fimbria or the pili guys okay this is again the organ of adhesion it helps in the bacterial adhesion to foreign substances okay sorry foreign uh, objects i mean to say and foreign surfaces you can say so this was the flow and ab aane wale videos ke andar we are going to cover up envelope in one single video theek hai next video would be about the envelope i am going to discuss cell wall in detail cell membrane is a short topic to be covered up theek hai rahi baat cytoplasm and all that thing i would suggest you i am not going to make a video on this thing but because it is a very short topic it's self read topic according to me so ek baar just read kar lena because a question aa sakta hai mcq that is mesosome okay it is mainly used for something that is called as respiration ठीक है ये एक है और भी वहां से इन्फॉर्मेशन पे एमसीक्यूज बन सकते हैं तो बट ये एक एमसीक्यू बहुत कॉमन है कि मीजोजोम जो होता है वो रेस्पिरेशन से एसोसिएट होता है बैक्टीरिया के तो जस्ट एक बार उसे रीड कर लेना साइटोप्लाज्मिक के मैट्रिक्स के बारे में जो इन्फॉर्मेशन दी है एंड देन सेल वॉल तीनों के तीनों सेल वॉल अपेंडेजेस के ऊपर सपरेट वीडियोज आने वाली थ्री सपरेट वीडियोज एंड वी आर गोन टू ऑल्सो एड ऑन अडियो ऑन समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द बैक्टीरियल स्पोर्ट्स ठीक है बैक्टीरियल स्पोर्ट्स का भी एक वीडियो रहेगा ठीक है तो दिस विल मार्क द एंड ऑफ समथिंग कॉल्ड द बैक्टीरियल मॉर्फोलॉजी खत्म होती है इसके बाद फिजियोलॉजी की बात करेंगे जिसके अंदर एक वन सिंगल वीडियो में आई गोइंग टू कवर द बैक्टीरियल ग्रोथ कर्व एज वेल एज द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग इट ठीक है एंड थोड़े बहुत और फैक्चुअल टॉपिक्स भी है छोटे छोटे वो भी हम लोग कवर अप कर लेंगे विद दिस वी मार्क द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन गाइज ओके सो आई होप आपको समझ आया होगा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग गाइज इफ यू फाउंड दिस कंटेंट यूजफुल देन डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल विच इज एम एस एमबीबीएस लेक्चर्स एंड any questions queries okay comment down i'm there to answer it guys and uh, yeah keep watching keep learning see you on the next one till that time bye bye